this was a okay episode i like it um the dad man uh he just got me just a little bit triggered now i feel like everything that he says does not really go with everything that he does i mean what Son Gyeom said to him was 100% right. Do you think that this family is a tool for you to use for your advantage? And I'm thinking that's exactly what he's doing. I mean, remember that one scene? Like he used his wife. And the other scene he used his daughter to play golf with some other dudes. And it looks like he also wanted to use Son Gyeom. But just considering Son Gyeom's position right now, he can't use him. So that's exactly what he's doing. And I remember in one episode, I can't remember which, but he said that um, I'm doing this for the love of my family. Uh, okay. Just like I said a moment ago, everything that he says does not go with everything that he does. So this whole thing is definitely going to bite him in the butt. And what Son Gyeom said, uh, he, he's the problem, pretty much. I remember in the last episode, I said I need more scenes with Son Gyeom and Yong Gua, and in this episode, I got it. These two, to me, are so funny, even though both characters are so different, but together, they are a comedy duo. Like, their first scene together here, Yong Gua called out Son Gyeom by his name, but then Son Gyeom was like, E.T.'s friend. I'm like, huh? I was like, oh yeah, the finger thing. And then if we fast forward to their second scene where they meet up again, uh, Son Gyeom was like, E.T.'s friend, and then Yong Gua was like, oh, and then they just do a finger touch. Yo, that's officially their handshake. <laughs> Trademark that. <laughs> What's nice was the scene where they were drinking, and they had a good, like, heart-to-heart -heart moment. So, yeah, I kind of think that was pretty good, because not every scene can be funny with them, and I think it's pretty awesome that they had a heart-to-heart -heart moment. I do have one prediction, and it's about Son Gyeom. I feel like this episode might be, well, a big might, be a turning point for him to change. The thing is, is that, um, well, well, first, I do appreciate his character being such a heartwarming character, very caring, considerate of others, but with the whole isolating himself away from other people, that needs to change, and Miju really called him out for that. Like, at home, Obviously, they're living together, but when they're at home, he creates this wall between them. And what Son Gyeom said was he's very anxious towards people who are close to him. But at the same time, he doesn't want to be alone. So that is really contradicting each other. And yeah, he really needs to change that. And Miju was really upset. Like when he came home, I think the morning because he spent the night at um, Yongwa's. She was like, where were you? Were you drinking? You slept out? Yeah. Who you drank with? Um, you wouldn't know. I mean, that was pretty much spark the argument. And yeah, I really do think that Son Gyeom really needs to change and really be more open towards people who are close to him. Because right now, so, uh, Son Gyeom is really used to living alone. And I don't blame him for being anxious towards people who are close to him, but that needs to change and i i think again i think this could be the turning point for him to open up to miju even more i do appreciate that we got more scenes with yongwa and dana dana and miju and yongwa and songyeom because the majority of this drama was was pretty much just songyeom and miju but to have you know just Mix it up a bit. I like that. And one little fact that we didn't know about Donna. She, well, her dream was to be a soccer player. But that dream failed when her dad's son tattled and she had to quit. Damn, that sucks. And I'm pretty sure the dad's son is Taeung, isn't it? Or maybe it's the other brother. Whoever it was, but man, that sucks. In that one scene where young was talking to Dana, the way that he portrayed himself, it, it was almost like seeing another her. And I think that kind of sparked a little bit of an interest for, for uh, Dana. I mean, she is such a strong woman. She is. But I think...
the way that yong was portraying himself as being this strong guy, it's a good opposites attract, I guess. So yeah, that's the review. Um, I find it crazy how after the first and second episode of this drama, I was like, eh, I'm not feeling it. I don't know if, if I should watch it and keep doing reviews. But after watching the other episodes, I was like, okay, this drama has a good charm to it. I think I'll go for it. And I like it. I really do. And yeah, so if you guys like my review, leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe. See ya.